Good morning, YCHS. Today is Friday, December 7th, and this is Kendall Dover and Brianna Moss with your morning announcements. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, followed by a moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. News from Guidance. Attention students, your course request forms for next year are due Friday. Please turn in to the counseling office or to your second block teacher. Any student or faculty member who has a family member in the military who will not be home for the holidays, please stop by Ms. Kleppinger's room C116. Please support Stuco's Build a Bear, Build a Heart fundraiser. The cost is a $10 donation and this purchase is a bear from Build a Bear that will be given to a child at Levine's Children's Hospital on Valentine's Day 2019. You may donate until December 13th and next semester from January the 14th through February the 1st. Find a Stuco member to make your donation today. When you donate, you'll be offered to name your bear as well. This can be done in memory of a loved one or just a sweet name for a child to cherish. The YCHS Choral Concert will be this Sunday, December the 9th at 4 p.m. in the YCHS Auditorium. The concert will feature the Handbell Ensemble, Women's Ensemble, Chamber Singer, and Concert Choir. District passes are welcomed. Admission is $5 for adults and $3 for students. Okay. Hunting and fishing will meet December 11th at 8 a.m. in room F217. Late deer hunting tips and future meetings will be discussed. Congratulations to Cheyenne Schaffner for winning Best of Show with her artwork, Glass, and placing third with her Mixed Media Scream in the York County Student Art Show. We are so proud of all of our students whose work is featured in this show. Shelby Spencer, Cheyenne Schaffner, Aubrey Mowry, Cammie Sanders, Jackson Buckley, Taylor Honeycutt, Anastasia Axe, and Kayla Wells. If you get a chance, go to the Rock Hill Center for the Arts in downtown Rock Hill and see the exhibit now through December 28th. Proud TV spoke to Cheyenne and her art teacher, Miss Templeton. My inspiration came from my teacher, Miss Barosik. She showed us like pictures of other AP students' works and I thought they were amazing, so I was like, I want to do something good like that. So I was talking to Miss Templeton about it and um, she helped me take pictures of glass. Like we took a bunch of glass and we took a bunch of pictures, like I have a million pictures of glass on my phone because of it. But yeah, I'd say my main inspiration was just looking at other students' works and my teachers, of course. I am so proud of Cheyenne winning um, the best of show and third place for this um, county wide art show. That's a big um, accomplishment and it's very rare for her to get two awards in the same show. I have enjoyed teaching Cheyenne and I think the artwork that she has in this show is really a demonstration of what she has learned from drawing, from painting, and then she's taking this um, the skills that she's learned in these classes and now she's creating art for AP that is very personal and more expressive and I'm just very proud of her and, and, and what she's done. Here's news from DECA. Seniors Aisha Ozog and Jordan Burton are doing a public relations project for DECA by bringing awareness for Alzheimer's and dementia. They recently did the 5K to help the South Carolina Alzheimer's Association and DECA competitions. DECA is a business marketing and entrepreneurship program in the technology office and it promotes communication skills and leadership skills. This year we're doing a public relations project about Alzheimer's. So we're doing things like uh, the cookies that the Technology Center sells on Fridays, we put little statistics about Alzheimer's on those just to like get the word out. And then we're also going to have a purple themed uh, basketball game and the teachers can wear jeans if they wear purple or white. And then the biggest thing that we did was a 5k for Alzheimer's awareness which happened in October, at the end of October. So we raised a little over a thousand dollars and that was with sponsors and with uh, racers and donations. HOSA students are raising awareness for the Stop the Bleed campaign. A person can bleed out in two to eight minutes, so a properly applied tourniquet can save their life. From gloves to gauze and tourniquets, these kits are ready in any emergency. HOSA students will raise funds in order to purchase kits for each school that can be used to assist in trauma situations. This will also be the topic that the students compete for in state leadership in March. This week's Hashtag We Care segment is on respect. Here at YCHS FDJTC, our motto is We Care. We care about each individual student here and we want to create a positive, safe environment where we can all thrive. CARE is an acronym for the different parts of our motto and the expectations that we have for all of our students. 
community, accountability, respect, and excellence. Our faculty and staff want to reward students who live by our motto and show we care here at school. To do that, we need to all be on the same page about what these students' expectations are. This week, we want to focus on respect. What does respect look like here at school? In the classroom, respect others and yourself. Take care of public spaces and equipment and use technology appropriately. In the restroom, you respect privacy of others, respect school property, and keep hands, feet, and objects to yourself. In the hallway, use quiet voices, shut your locker doors quietly, and show affection in a school-appropriate manner. In the cafeteria, use conversational tones, use manners while eating, and maintain position in line. On the bus, use conversational tones at all times and use appropriate language. These are things that we can do every day to improve and enhance respect here at school. Come out and support our girls and boys JV and varsity basketball teams as they play Clover tonight at home starting at 6 p.m. The YCH dance team has been working hard to perfect their choreography for the first performance at the Clover game tonight. Please come out and support our basketball teams and also be entertained with some great dancing. Good luck to boys JV wrestling as they compete in a tournament at Indian Land tomorrow at 9 a.m. Also, good luck to our varsity boys wrestling team as they compete in a tournament in Fort Mill this weekend. Go Cougars! Here is this week's Cafeteria Christmas sing-along. I just want you for my own, more than you could ever know. Make my wish come true, baby all I want for Christmas is you. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the hills we go, laughing all the way, ha ha ha. <laughs> the sun is blazing bright. <laughs> We're caroling through the night. And this Christmas, Rudolph, Rudolph the red nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows like a light bulb. <laughs> Dancing through the snow, <laughs> on one horse open sleigh, over the hills we go, laughing all the way. Thanks for watching YCHS, see you next week.